AIT Chair Laura Rosenberger is visiting Taiwan for the second time in two months. On Wednesday, she met legislative speaker Yoshi Quinn and a lawmaker from each of the legislature's four political parties. Afterward, DPP lawmaker Tsai Shi-ying relayed the message that Washington would continue to support Taiwan's government no matter who wins the 2024 presidential election. In the days to come, the U.S. diplomat is expected to meet with each of Taiwan's three presidential candidates. I have a few questions. Uh, would you meet the presidential candidate later? AIT Chair Laura Rosenberger touched down in Taiwan on Monday for a six-day visit. On Wednesday morning, she met Legislative Speaker Yoshi Kun and representatives from all parties in the legislature. Hi, Madam. How's the meeting? Taiwan to hear the voices She's visiting to hear the diverse voices of Taiwan. She chatted very happily with all four parties today. No matter what comes in the future, Taiwan and the U.S. have a long-standing alliance. We're allies. The U.S. government has also said that it will continue supporting Taiwan's government no matter who wins the election. The candidates in the 2024 presidential election all have different platforms and opinions. She will meet with each of them separately. This is Rosenberger's second visit in two months. Her main purpose is to engage with Taiwan's three presidential candidates. Sources say she'll meet the DPP's Lai ching on Thursday and Ke wen of the Taiwan People's Party on Friday. It is not yet known when she will meet the KMT's Hou Yo yi From what I know, arrangements are being made. They're being made for all three candidates. I think her visit will be very fruitful and will give the U.S. a better understanding of Taiwan's presidential candidates, their policy proposals, and their views on diplomacy and national defense. Critics have viewed Rosenberger's meetings as a pre-screening for the three candidates. Of the three, Ho is the only one to have never visited the U.S. and is said to be the least familiar with Washington. Who says he's not familiar? As mayor of the ROC's largest city, he's been involved in a great deal of city-to-city -city diplomacy. He has engaged frequently with the AIT and ambassadors from every country conducting city-to-city -city exchanges. I don't think there should be any problem regarding his familiarity. KMT lawmaker Chen Mingzong defended Ho's credentials. With the election approaching, each candidate's stance on China and U.S. relations is under heightened scrutiny.